Hey guys, alright, so number 11 says an object is thrown into the air going 5 meters per second. How high does it go? Hint, do you really need to know what math is? Well, let's figure out our conservation of energy equation. At the beginning, our energy before, it's going 5 meters per second. Alright, and it's thrown into the air. So right when it leaves the ground, it's technically not above the ground. And if it didn't have a velocity, it wouldn't, it would, it's obviously moving, it has kinetic energy, and it's not on a spring. So we know we have kinetic energy to begin with. And then, how high does it go? Well, that implies at maximum height, for an instant, it's going zero meters per second. So we have no kinetic energy, it's not on a spring, we don't have any potential elastic, but we do have potential since it's above the ground. And do we have any work here? Is, the ener is energy being added, or is it just being transferred? It's actually just being transferred, so it's plus nothing. All right, so then we plug in our equations, 1 half mv squared equals mgh. So this is the equation for kinetic energy on the left side and our equation for potential on the right. And we actually have a mass on the left side and a mass on the right side. So say we wanted to get this mass over here, we divided both sides by m. These actually cancel out. So what we end up with is 1 half v squared equals gh. So 1 half v squared equals 10 times our height. Actually, our height is what we're trying to figure out. And our v squared is 5 squared, because we know it leaves the ground going 5 meters per second. So 5 squared is 25. So we end up with 1 half of 25 equals 10 times the height. Well, half of 25, let's go ahead and plug it in, it's 12.5, but we'll go ahead and do that on the calculator. One half times 25 is 12.5, and we have 10 and the height. So then we divide both sides by 10 to get our height. This side cancels out. And 12.5 divided by 10 is 1.25. So it's going to go 1.25 meters in the air. That is our height. Alright. 12 says write the conservation of the energy equation. Well, that's easy. We just did that. Um, but we want the general equation. It's the energy before. plus or minus work, if we have any, equals the total amount of energy after. And do you see how we did that in the previous problem? We had the energy before, which was kinetic, because it was moving, and then we didn't have any work, so it's plus zero, equals the potential energy at how high does it go at maximum height. Alright, number 13. A 10 kilogram object is at rest, at rest, at rest, so is it moving? Nope. Is it above the ground? Nope, it doesn't tell us that. Is it on a spring? Nope. So the energy before is nothing. And then it accelerates to go 5 meters per second in 11 sec seconds. So it's, there's no friction. So at the end, it's going 5 meters per second. Is it moving? Yes. Is it above the ground? No. Is it on a spring? No. So we know that we have kinetic energy here. So what had to happen between here and here for us to get energy? Well, we added energy to the system. So we're doing positive work. Okay, so it wants to know what is the energy gained? Well, we gained kinetic energy. So we know that kinetic energy is one half the mass times the velocity squared. So we know it's one half our mass is 10 times our velocity squared, and it goes 5 meters per second, so 5 squared. So that ends up being 1 half of 10 is 5, and 5 squared is 25. So if we multiply that all out, uh, 1 half times 10 times 5 squared, or our 5 times 25, like we had it. And we get 125. So we actually have 125 joules of energy that we added to our system. 
All right, so where does this energy come from? Well, it came from the positive work. And what is the power? Well, we know that power is work over time. And the work is the amount of kinetic energy we added. So that's going to be 125. And we did that in 11 seconds. So our time is 11. So 125 over 11 is our power. So it did 11.4 watts of power. All right. Last problem. What kind of energy is the work in here? Here we have what kind of energy? Is it moving? Yes. Is it above the ground yet? No. Is it on a spring? No. So we have kinetic energy. And now it wants us to calculate it. Well, we know kinetic energy is equal to 1 half the mass times the velocity squared. And so we have 1 half of the mass, which is 2, times the velocity going 10 meters per second, and we square that. So we end up with 1 half of 2, which is 1, times 10 squared, which is 100. So 1 times 100 is 100. Or we can go ahead and plug it in. 1 half times 2 times 10 squared. And we get 100. So we have 100 joules at the beginning. That's how much, how much work we're putting in. Okay. The work out is what kind of energy? We have potential at the top because it's above ground, but it's not moving and it's not on the spring. So we know our work out is our potential energy, which is mass times gravity times height, which is our mass is 2, gravity is 10, and our height is 4. So 2 times 10 times 4 is 80 joules. Alright, so how much energy was lost? Well, the energy that was lost is the difference between the work we put in and the work we put out, which 100 minus 80 is 20 joules. And now it wants us to calculate the efficiency of this transfer. Well, efficiency is our watt over our win times 100, which is equal to our work out. We got 80 joules out of the system, and 100 joules is what we put in, and then times 100. So we do 80 over 100. And we get 0.8, and then we multiply that by 100, and we have 80% efficiency. So this system is 80% efficient.